called the fifth hand is too close to my face and I in the face. But also, you know, the difficulty in the fear and the next part is very, very difficult. Okay? But from here, this part, and then maybe how to use it if you get me off. Takes a really good one. Don't do it yet. Okay, for me, if I do it this way, then it's very, very dangerous. Okay, and strong, and resistant hands on it. Then do the next bit. It's very difficult. And that was a bad one. <laughs> 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 so from here, out. So it's very difficult to resist if I don't stop. From here, out. Up, here, here, out. That way. From here, this part, if I do my head here, and okay, that should get in this part. If I do it from here, so I've got this part coming back here, it's, it's, it's almost impossible, I can't use it, so I'm driving it back there. And also, if I get hopefully this bit right, and I'm like this, okay, this isn't really doing much, but I'm just punching straight in the throat. So quickly, tack that to Susan. Okay. So from here, this part, and naturally I'm in the throat from here. Okay, I do it, I'm just getting to watch one hand at a time. And if I do it this way, then it's almost impossible. And the next part is this hand here. If I go, this is quite, quite short, so I really stretch this out here. What I'm doing is almost like from here, I'm taking back and I'm opening my body to him rather than pulling my arms back to myself. Because now if he gives pressure now on the hand, no, no, up, 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 on top, on top. So now I want to try your body, so you're opening your body out. So now if he gives pressure in my leg, that's what. Okay, so it's doing, if you look at the visual, he puts his hand just there. So when I take back, instead of going, keep your hands there, from here, from here I'm going, it's almost like from here, I'm opening my body out, and there's a slight adjustment with the arms, rather than, so from here, collapsing here, you're taking them back, but at some point you're opening your body out, for the hands, okay? Okay, okay. I'm a little bit late, then I might choose to bring this posture more forward forward, forward taking more of this approach. And naturally from here, in real terms, I'm almost like to bring them on to the next I do. So from here, then I have to change. Have to be able to before that happens, maybe it's how to get this my ear before it follows through with that. The other option I've got, of course, if I'm I've got good timing, then from here I've broken the posture. He's falling back to the actual thing that's going through and kick. So those are the two scenarios. Then of course then you've got the foot adjustment, which will determine on what to do. And of course you've got these guys who are very tall, so you have to adjust that. Okay? So from here, if uh, I think you just or even you Posture. 
time and whatever we can do and what I do after that. Okay? Quickly. And then here to this. Okay? I'm applying it a bit late. Here, so next next one's gonna come. So how do I manage for that? I have two choices. I have to do this and I have to get out of trouble. Okay? Then it's higher than I practice. Or you get it up get The other option I have if my time is good, yes, I've already ahead of me. I've already positioned myself, but each time I'm getting into the poop so all the time. Otherwise what tends to happen is this door, this door. Okay. Again, depending on the time is, if I'm a bit late, so I've got this. Okay, so potentially I haven't fully broken this box, so I'm slightly thinking in that way. Okay. Now, for me to get in, if I've got this hand in the way, very, very difficult. The different way I need them, we do opposite, it's quite easy to trip, get my body in, but this way with the hands up, it's almost like, okay, I'm trying to get the kick really as as possible. Once you've done this, then naturally, this comes back to the kick is ready to land. If I get my good time in, which you're not going to get today, then I'm fixed and forced, I've chosen the posture and slightly falling back. It's not a problem because my body can fall through. My body is here and my body can fall it through. No problem. Step back and block. And as you come through, just snap them. Here, it's a bit like doing Hinder Eye. Gap do. What you tend to be doing is, or who do you, is that. <laughs> All right, and then here, here, so here, and just. Yeah. I know it's a habit. Thank you. 
should be or not, um, or how do we do any, anything in the gym, or won't admit they do anything in the gym, can't really tell, or whatever like that. I don't do anything at all. Okay, let's do it in the past. Is that even if you use a dominant or technical? Okay, technical, arms, legs, etc. Et so these are some very, very strong coming in, whether it's still anything. But how many ways to train and exercise is have your arms up here? out. You will have that lower down because you're using the back muscles here to bring it in. When you start coming to the Uduke, if of course he's driving in this way, <coughs> from here I use my body here because I'm using all, apart from the legs of course, I'm using my trunk, the trunk muscles which my abs, my abs, I'm using the same as his. Timing. If I'm just pushing with my arm, I'll, I'll never do it. And also, he's in a stable position, and I'm trying to do that. Not, not the important thing is I'm not squaring off. So if I square off, I'm going to struggle. So I'm just using this. Ah. So when he attacks here, no, no. And forward, now touch shoulders. He's using the trunk to move his arm. Sending the fly in, but he's really trying to focus a bit more side on. 
and using the body in the time of this kind of stuff. So he's not really interested now, obviously. If now we change and he applies the same thing, it might not get a result still. It's a bit better because he's positioned himself better. So he's not knocking him flying, but at least he's getting himself and he can apply it. And that's the secret. Here, I've positioned myself, I've done my audio. And like quite pointed out by the um, instructors, is that if I'm lazy with this leg, then I come here, then of course I don't have room to get the sticking. Where if I tuck it in and curl it in, then potentially I can get the tip in. And it's nice, nice and neat. <laughs> Fortunately, you didn't have breakfast. Okay. So now if you attack quickly, he attacks quickly, and I do it this way here. If he doesn't move, then I'm not going to get the ticket. In real terms, it's not necessarily going to move. If I can't calculate my distance, and if he's a bit sort of clever, he's not going to move back. If he moves back, then all he's doing is he's going to allow him to ticket. If he actually stays there, here, and I come in, then I, I, can't, I can't do my kick. But for me to, if I'm lazy, then I'd have to do a big foot adjustment to get, get my leg in. And that's the important bit, okay? And then when you take it through to moving, I just want to see if I can do that. Okay. So that's why this exercise, just one point, make sure you don't create movement with knee. And then you end up going Here, so in real sense, I have to be very much just because he's quite tall, so 
Diane, har du positioned myself for the then how on earth am I going to get my ticket? So I might have to go. So, this is my understanding of distance. Next thing, then how to get the people. That process.